So I'm on the North Country Trail today and it looks like I'm gonna get some rain, but got my umbrella, got my uh, patrol poncho, got my chaps, I'm good to go. But until it rains, I thought I'd do some videos and uh, today I think I'm gonna talk about first aid gear. You know, I don't carry a ton of stuff, but I probably carry most, more than most people. Um, I, even though I carry, a, I carry some gauze for real emergencies in my uh, storage poles, and I've got Gorilla Tape out here wrapped around it uh, to keep it on. And you know, usually I'm over the years I probably have used it on myself a couple of times and other people many times. So I carry it not just for myself, but when I slid down uh, Apache Peak on the PCT and took all the skin off this arm and elbow, I was glad to have my uh, triple antibiotic with painkiller and my gauze and my tape to wrap myself up. I didn't know how long it was gonna take me to get out of there, but uh, it was pretty painful and I was glad to have it, being able to protect it. Um, even though I carry, you know, a, a larger knife in my storage poles, basically for cutting cheese uh, blocks, uh, I still carry this little Swiss Army knife. So, you know, it's got nail clippers, it's got a toothpick, it's got tweezers for ticks, it's got all kinds of little tools that come in handy and, you know, thing weighs nothing. Like everybody else, I carry, you know, some uh, Tylenol, vitamin I, ibuprofen, you know, it takes care of any kind of inflammation, good to have. You know, I use that quite often. Probably the thing I use most in this whole kit, and I always carry a lot of it, are Pepto pills. So, you know, it's like candy, but anytime I get the bad belly, I'll take at least four of these things, and uh, problem solved. And I've even read, now don't take me uh, for my word on this, but I have read years ago that uh, if you got Giardia, took Pepto, it could knock it out, you know, if you took it early enough. Now, Giardia can take two weeks to incubate it, so, uh, you know, I don't know that that works or not, but I've always had that in the back of my head, so whether I've got Giardia or not, I've got the bad belly, this solves the problem. I've never had Giardia, so whether it's because I take these things, I couldn't tell you, but um, they weigh nothing take them. If you get the bad belly, get heartburn, whatever, it'll take care of it. Even though I have triple antibiotic already, I carry bag balm. And it's not to uh, soothe cow udders that I run into on the trail. A lot of farmers use this. It's basically for dry and cracked skin. So not only blisters you have to worry about on the trail, but you know, you get a thousand miles up the trail, your feet are gonna be like moccasin leather. And if they dry out, uh, they're gonna start to crack and this will soften them up. You know, um, I put this on at night and let it soak in all night long. And um, it just kind of a soothing on your feet. You know, walking across the streams and walking through wet vegetation, getting your feet wet, not going to give you a trench foot. It's actually going to feel pretty good on your feet as they toughen up, and this really helps a lot. You know, I keep my uh, toothpaste, toothbrush in here. I've got tenacious tape. I've got things other than first aid in here, but you know, I carry an assortment of band aids. Uh, I probably use those for, you know. Well, like on the PCT, I ran into a girl, she was an ultra light backpacker and she had blisters and I stopped to help her. And uh, again, I've always said my brain is more of a smart ass than my mouth. I don't say much. Everybody, you know, hike your own hike. But here she had these terrible blisters. She could hardly walk. And I put triple antibiotic and bandaged her up and got her going again. But in my mind, I'm thinking, 
You know, if I'm going to be ultra light, I think I'd leave the ukulele home and carry some first aid. <laughs> but I was glad to help her get her going again. Um, if I lose a filling, which I've never done, I've got some uh, Temperin Max and a little tool to drive it into my tooth. So I know how painful losing a filling can be and I don't want to be three days out and have to deal with it. Um, so, you know, you can kind of pick and choose, you know, you might have some personal problems that uh, flare up on you and uh, you should really consider, you know, what might happen and what you'd like to have if that happened. And so it's, you know, this weighs nothing, but it is like the cheapest weight-wise insurance that you can take with you. And, uh, you know, if you want to take a ukulele too, bye. I like ukulele music. <laughs> so I've said in other videos that uh, I'm making some changes to this. I'm carrying this thing right now. It doesn't weigh much, but it's takes a lot of real estate up in my front pocket here and I can change this out to something smaller but I carry an extra pair of glasses in here and the reason I want it in a hard sided container like this plastic uh, vitamin C bottle uh, is because if I just stick it in my pack in a soft pocket I, when I do need them the lenses are knocked out of them from being crushed so much and they're all bent out of shape so since I've been using this, I have put some of my first aid in here. Um, I actually have, uh, it's kind of old, it may not even work anymore shelf life wise, but uh, I was able to uh, get some flagell from a doctor friend of mine, and I've always carried that in case I did get Giardia. Um, I think flagell actually gives you the same symptoms, but uh, you know, so I have <coughs> medication which I, I have to say, after 60 years at least of backpacking, I've never had Giardia, I've never had in, uh, uh, intestinal problems, but I do carry medication in case I do, because that's one thing that you would like to control as quickly as possible. Um, and, you know, it's a couple of pills, bring them. Modium AD. I, I bring Benadryl. You know, I have been stung before and uh, had my hand all swell up from a ground bee. Uh, glad to have the Benadryl. I mean, you're going to wish you had this stuff when something goes south on the trail. And, uh, you know, you don't have to, you know, when I did the CDT, I actually I hiked with a, a friend of mine who was a doctor and uh, before I left on the CDT, I told him, you're in charge of my first aid kit. I want to be able to do everything but open heart surgery, but it's got to weigh 12 ounces or less. <laughs> and uh, so halfway up through the uh, Chihuahuan Desert in New Mexico, I'm sitting on a rock one day having a snack, and I decided to pull out my first aid kit and go through it and see what he's given me. <laughs> and. Uh, the first thing I came to was a note that told me all this different, you know, he's a doctor, they give you pills. So um, he had a list of what all these pills were and what they were for. And when I got down to these little nitroglycerin pills, it said, if you're having a heart attack, take one of these every two hours until you die. <laughs> but. I ended up not using any of that stuff. I don't, I don't I'm not on any drugs. Uh, I don't go to the doctor. Uh, everybody I know that goes to the doctor uh, is dead. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna stay away from those guys. Anyway, um, all jokes aside, uh, I would take some first aid and I would think about it, you know. Don't take what I take, don't take what anybody else takes. Take what you think you're comfortable with, what you think you'll need, uh, but consider the fact that scat happens and you may need some of these things and wish you had them if you didn't. Keep smiling.